Hey guys, what's up? Spectre here, and today we're doing something a bit different. While I normally bring you highly curated lists of mods for console, today I wanted to help you troubleshoot some common console modding issues and answer a few other questions that I've been asked pretty often. So let's jump in. I'll be discussing common issues such as the dreaded gray face glitch, crashing, frame loss, and even talking you through my own load order. Before we begin, I wanted to let you know that I'll be dividing each section up into sort of a table of contents down in that description, complete with timestamps. So make sure that you like this video and bookmark it for future use. I wanted to make this sort of a reference for any issues you may have in the future. Let's start with one of the most common issues that mod users face. It's, well, Greyface. This particularly annoying glitch is caused when the NPC's face tint and face geometry files go missing or they're mismatched between the game and the ESP or ESM files of the mod. There are a few solid methods to solving this issue on PC, but we don't have the luxury of those on console, so instead of a definitive fix, I can help you avoid it or isolate the mods that are causing it. Most members of the mod community attribute this issue to mods that generate new PCs, and my own experience echoes that theory. And while I never want to badmouth anyone's hard work, mods like the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch and Immersive Patrols have both caused these issues in my game before. Both of these mods are great, however, and I don't want to dissuade you from trying them, as you may have different results. Just make sure to take that risk with this information in mind. Remember to minimize the amount of mods in your load order that create new NPCs, and if you do install one and find yourself with this gray face glitch, isolate those and either delete them or disable them to fix this issue. Frame loss can be another common issue, especially when using mods, and this is usually caused by having too many graphically intensive mods in your load order. I've personally experienced this when using too many foliage mods at once. I tried running Project Hippie and Dense Grass in one go, and my PlayStation just couldn't handle it. This could also happen with certain weather mods. If that's the case, I would recommend that you pare down your graphic mods just a bit, perhaps opting for a grass or tree mod that's a bit less lush. You can also use mods like Underwater Grass Deleted PS4 or Gray's Rift in Cleanup, which are both designed to remove unnecessary assets in order to recover a few frames. The mods that I featured in my graphics mod lists over the years shouldn't be too intensive, and I definitely recommend those as a starting point if you're looking to replace some misbehaving weather, lighting, or foliage mods. But what if your issue isn't the gray face glitch or even frame loss? What if you can't even get into the game? Crashing is another common issue, and while a complete fix may vary from case to case, here's how I recommend addressing it. First, if you've recently downloaded any new mods or even a batch of new mods, I would recommend disabling them and deleting them one by one until you find the culprit. This method is tedious, but it's essentially the classic unplug it and plug it back in approach of the modding world. If this method hasn't worked, try disabling your more recent mods and reverting to an older save. If you do manage to boot up using this method, create a new clean save, and then try adding back a few of the newer mods that you've downloaded since then. You might also find that you simply need to reorder your mods rather than delete them outright. In fact, some would say that this is a better solution. Make sure to check the mod's description, as sometimes it's recommended by the author that they be placed in a certain section of your load order. Which brings us to one of the most common questions that I receive in the comments, people asking me about my load order. And after years of creating mod videos and constantly changing my loadout of mods, I still stand by my method. I barely touch my load order. I found that I just haven't had as many issues just letting them install automatically on console as I might have on PC. I do, however, move them around if the description calls for it, as I mentioned before. But a rule of thumb that I've seen used by many other players is that they keep large mods like weather and lighting overhauls towards the top, with smaller mods towards the bottom. And while we're discussing it, let's look at my load order and talk about it a bit more at length. These are the mods that stay in my load order between videos. These are the mods that have managed to get a permanent spot in my game. Here's a prime example of one such mod that should be manually placed at the bottom. And to do that, you simply hit square and move it wherever you need. From this screen, you can also disable and re-enable any mods that you need. This is a valuable tool for troubleshooting and how you'll be doing some of the things that I suggested earlier. And for those of you who'd like to get a longer look at my load order, I'll be ending this video on a slow scroll of the entire thing, so don't worry. 
But there you have it, some tips for troubleshooting some common modding issues in Skyrim on console. As a last tip, I would definitely recommend adding mods maybe two or three at a time at maximum, and then just booting up your game to make sure it's stable. This method will help you cut out a lot of issues in the future, as it's easy to isolate the troublesome mod if you aren't installing too many new ones at once. And don't sweat your load order too much, unless the author says so, and remember to be careful when considering mods that add new NPCs, as that increases the risk of Greyface. If you have any other questions or concerns, drop them below and subscribe for more curated lists of mods, and check out my playlist if you haven't. For those of you who want a slower, in-depth look at my load order, I'll close this video out with a look at the entire thing. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.